All right, all right, man. Two times of fools, man, is what Ryan Garcia has made Devin and Bill Haney look like. Two times a fool. Now, I've seen in the uh, uh, you know last few hours that have passed that Shakur Stevenson once again has called these guys out. Remember Shakur even pulling up on them on a live stream on H Money Channel about two years ago, and you know pushing for this fight. And many of the fans who don't want to see this thing go down have called Shakur a snake and. Shakur sell out and Shakur all this other stuff for calling Devin Haney and them out as they're looking to kind of go on their quest of defeating other fighters. But for some reason, they're steering away of the Shakur Stevenson fight. And that's some real odd shit. Uh, but e even for this fight, it ain't them going back down to 135. Shakur would have to move up to match them at this 140 pound weight if he is to be calling out for these guys to make the fight and i think that's the move that bill them should make but once again let me go back to why i make the statement of them being two-time a fool by ryan garcia it's for the fact that they messed up early from the onset man always right with reggie Owens, man it's always right in the way i see these things and when when ryan pulled that first move on them and and, and Went into find, uh, uh, finding another opponent in the midst of negotiations and announcing of fight negotiations, take, negotiations taking place. And he just left them hanging at the table and having to refigure things. And he run right over the Broly. He up there laughing at them. He's kicking it with Floyd, making them look like big time fools. And then when Roley played the same game on Ryan Garcia, Ryan immediately runs back to them and they accept it. And in the midst of this fight being announced and negotiated, Ryan has completely fallen apart, man. But he was already falling apart when he made that first move. Hell, Ryan was showing some instabilities in the mental, uh, uh, in the mental aspects of everything, man, before this public display of his fallout. And these dudes allow him to come back into their lives only to wreck and ruin it. And he's ruining this fight. Now, this thing that uh, uh, this proposition that Shakur has put out here, it definitely makes sense. But the other thing Shakur is overlooking is the fact that this is an Oscar event. And there's really there's probably no way that this fight can be done. I don't see how it can be done being Shakur uh, uh, being a top ranked fighter unless he lets Bob take some crazy percentage of it. Uh, but I think Oscar may want to fund this a uh, fight event unless Oscar drops from it and Eddie Hearn picks up whatever the uh, expenses behind making this damn fight and putting Shakur on there, who's an East Coast guy. And then there can be, you know, you don't want to hear no East West rivalry type shit anymore. But that's possibly how it plays out being out there in New York. I think Shakur versus Dev makes way more sense and generates more revenue than Ryan Garcia at this time is many people have started to pull their dollars away from Ryan Garcia. It's just something that many fans don't have faith in and they want to see something competitive. And at this point in time, Ryan's not viewed as competitive with anything. But uh, that's all I got. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Peace.